Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Jumanji Deluxe the game. It's ages eight and up, two to four players, and it takes about 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to have all of your tokens moving towards the center, and once somebody's token has reached the center, they get to yell out Jumanji, put out the button, and push down the button. You need to do this before anyone has lost all three of their life tokens, and then you all win. Game setup. When you open up the board, uh, there will be immediate sound effects that go on for a little while. Those are just a fun way to begin the game. Uh, you lay out all the cards around the outside. There will be duplicates and uh, each player picks a spot to start on the side of the board. Uh, we have a four player game set up here. So in a three or four player game, each player gets three life tokens. If you're playing just a two player game, then each player gets four life tokens. You assemble the hourglass, which is very simple. And uh, you pick someone to start. They're going to have the two number dice and the four challenge dice are put off to the side for when you need them. All right, we'll go ahead and say that blue is going to go first and then play progresses clockwise from there after its turn. All you do on your turn is you roll your dice you move that number of spots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you press the dome. You're going to solve the riddle and then do a challenge. The riddle is, his boots are heavy on the path. Go quickly now or feel his wrath. We are going to say, based on what I remember of the movie, I think that is Van Pelt. So if you think that you have your answer, you can discuss, there's not a time limit on this. Once you figure it out, you go ahead and push the button. And it was Van Pelt, hooray! So if you get it right, then you read the back of the card and perform that challenge. If you get the correct answer to the riddle, then you get to move forward an additional space. If you get a wrong answer, you do not lose a life. You only lose a life through uh, actions on the challenge cards and through some events, uh, rarely. So this one has both a danger sign and a timed sign on them. Uh, the only other symbol you can get is a storytelling sign. And these um, can very much vary in what they're doing. Storytelling, you cannot lose a life. It is just for fun. So this one says, Van Pelt is hot on your trail and you need to get some distance. Your only hope is to set a trap, but you'll need some strong knots to secure it. Before time runs out, tie a knot that you've never tried before, losing a life if it comes undone. So all you do for this is one person runs and grabs something that they can tie a knot with, flip over the timer, and make sure that it stays done. Once they have done this, and probably you will be okay, then you pass on, pass on play to the next person. If somehow you cannot tie a knot and it comes undone, then you lose a life. The deal with the lives is uh, you can, each person has three lives. If anybody runs out of all of their lives, you've lost, but anyone can give a life to anybody else. So if this player had a couple rounds and they lost two lives, they had a couple tough rounds and then they lost another life, uh, and they were completely out of lives, you still haven't lost the game, just anybody else can pass them another life and they're okay. The other thing that can happen after you roll the dice and move is that a instead of a riddle popping up in the middle, there is some screeching and hollering and then an event happens. And you know it's an event because a picture pops up that matches what is on the back of the rules. You flip to the back of the rules, read whatever you're supposed to do for that particular uh, event, and then you do it. You can have to stomp on imaginary spiders. You can have a hippo take away a life from whichever player is in the lead. Uh, you can have to hide under a table to hide from a lightning bolt and take off all of the metal from your clothing and take it off of you. Uh, you can even play uh, an impromptu game of hide and go seek from somebody who's pretending to be the lion. Uh, there's different activities for all of these different events. Some of them are just for fun and interactive and other ones you can actually lose a life for the game. One last feature of the game are the challenge dice. 
Uh, occasionally they'll come up in a challenge card and you'll have to use them. Uh, for this stampede challenge card, it says on the back, you're being chased by a stampede. All players take turns rolling one challenge die. Whatever it lands on, perform an action for the group that relates to the image on the die. Make sure it's an action that will help you out of your imminent danger. Each player must go twice before time runs out or you'll lose a life. So some of them are speed rolling activities and some are just for fun like this where you do it. And it's up to the group whether or not you performed the correct activity for whatever you've rolled on your die. Here's what the end of a game might look like. It is the player with the black tokens turn and we'll say they went ahead and rolled an 11. Uh, incidentally, the paths do cross each other at some points and in this version of the game, it does not say what you do if the players are supposed to land on the same spot. But in the older version of the game, you would just, whoever had rolled would skip ahead to the next spot. So that's what we're saying they're doing here. Uh, you do not have to get an exact roll to get to the center. Uh, you just, whatever you get, they got an 11. Uh, they come up to here, they've made it. You shout out Jumanji and then you hold down the center for a couple seconds and uh, the game will do something special for you. Yay, you won the game. Congratulations. So that's how to play Jumanji Deluxe, the game. It is a cute family experience uh, and it's ideal for elementary aged kids and it's perfect if you've just watched the movie. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother. Mm -hmm.